Amrita and tax season continues at Amrita by the book. If you're a regular, then let me know if you're sick and tired of me doing these tags because I'm never tired of them and I love doing them. And um, I don't have that many left. I actually thought I was done except Lana tagged me last week and then I have a couple more from earlier that I was saving for like milestone videos and stuff. So I don't really have that many left, but if you're sick and tired of me doing these, then you can always tell me and I can hit pause for a couple of weeks. However, I will get through all my tags because I will leave no tag behind. I love them. Anywho, this one is from the lovely Lana, all the way from Moscow, and uh, it is the International Booktuber tag. I really like this tag because it kind of shows you a bit of people's lives from around the world, but also I remember when Sunny Luca did this tag and she brought up a very good point in that what exactly is an international booktuber? The whole point of being on the internet is that you could be from pretty much anywhere. So when you say international, it sort of suggests there's a national. So are we pretending that YouTube is a solely American product? But also the questions are a little bit strange to me because uh, they make a few assumptions that just make you think, well, um, who is this for exactly? Like you say international, but then who are these people? Like, do I not talk about my British booktube friends? How about my Australian ones? Is it just like English speakers who are not international? Like, is this the non-English speaker booktube tag? It's very confusing to me. Like some of the questions here, like I didn't know how to answer, but I'm gonna try my best. And again, I'm going to tag a few people at the very end and maybe they can do a better job of explaining what an international booktuber is. Question one is where are you from and what is your native language or languages? So I'm from India and I kind of think of myself as a third culture kid because my family is from down south, a place called Kerala, but I grew up in Delhi, which is way up north and is the capital of India. The language that we speak back home in Kerala is Malayalam, whereas in Delhi we speak Hindi. And I grew up trilingual, so um, English, Malayalam, and Hindi were my first languages. In what languages do you read books? I mostly read in English, but I tend to use other languages for very specific things. So, uh, for example, I love poetry in what I like to call Hindustani, which is a mix of Hindi and Urdu. However, in poetry, we tend to have Hindustani poetry, but we also tend to have Hindi poetry and Urdu poetry, which are very separate. And um, I tend to read those not just in their original language, but also their original script. Like not Urdu, like I don't read Nastalik. I want to at some point learn, but uh, I do read Devanagari, which is the script in which Hindi is written. So um, I tend to read both Urdu and Hindi poetry in Devanagari script, just because English doesn't always get the accents right um, when you're doing the transliteration process. and. Um, it's always like confusing accent marks and um, you don't have the strong, hard consonants that uh, Urdu and Hindi have, you know, like from the epiglottis and things. So the way they are transliterated don't always make sense in English. So I prefer to read those in Hindi. Apart from that, I'm also trying to improve my French, like not really making much of an effort, but trying. A little bit here and there if somebody has you know recommendations for French books that I should be trying out then I am in the market for recommendations so let me know nothing too advanced though I would describe myself as an intermediate speaker is there booktube in your native language and if so what is the community like again this is not a very clear question but I feel like I'm being asked if there's an Indian booktube and to that I say have you ever been on YouTube because the entire place is just full of Indians 
India is also a giant market for English language books. So yes, there is a giant community of Indian booktubers. Well, okay, maybe giant is an exaggeration, but there are like a significant number of Indian booktubers, yes. As for how they tend to be, from what I've observed, there tend to be, you know, different sections. So there's one section that just makes videos much as I do, you know, you just talk about popular books, so on and so forth. Then there are channels that seem to do um, like explanation videos and sometimes they do like sort of explain in a local language sort of videos because I think there are a number of people out there who are forced to read books in English, like English literature books and I mean like literature with a capital L. Um, it's sort of like a side effect of colonialism. Um, I've talked about this many, many, many times, so I'm not gonna go on like a stock record, but uh, yeah, there are several things with the Indian education system that are absolutely whacked. But what it means is there are a lot of kids who don't necessarily come from English speaking backgrounds who are forced to read books that have very little relatability when it comes to their lives and are reading books that were written by people in England 150 years ago and they're just like what is this what are they even talking about so there are a number of Indian booktube channels that try to explain them and give them like contextualizations um, in you know Hindi or in other languages so there's that there's a lot of like self-help stuff that goes on, um, which is not like my bag. I mean, I don't care for it. I've said this before, I don't do improving literature. So um, there's that. And apart from that, I don't really know what else is going on in Indian booktube. Um, I just know the ones that I hang out with and they're cool. If there is a booktube community in your native language, why did you decide to join the international one? So this is again one of those questions that just make me go like hmm. Because of course I am an international booktuber, um, I guess, but you know, English is an Indian language. We've had English in India longer than we have had Hindi, which is a language that came into existence in the 19th century pretty much as a reaction to what a section of society saw as an encroachment of English upon Indian culture which was also a threat to um, the social hierarchy of the time. But anyway, uh, why do I make videos in English? Because English is my first language and I am extremely comfortable speaking in English and therefore I make videos in it. And also, like I said, like most of the books that I read are in English. So uh, what else would I choose to make videos in? Are there any struggles or challenges for you as a non-native English speaker? Okay, here's the problem with saying non-native English speaker. Like, are you saying like only people from the West are native English speakers? Because there are several communities of people around the world, thanks to colonialism, who qualify as native English speakers. I don't just mean in India, but I mean in other parts of Asia, in Africa, in the Caribbean, so many different places. So I guess I could say like my struggle would be to kind of get people to understand that I am not talking in a foreign language. But honestly, that just sounds stupid to me. Like I don't see why I need to make a case for why I'm a native English speaker. Anyway, this reminded me of something that I once read while I was living in Bangkok. So. You know, when you're in an expat community, expat people tend to really think about what it means to be native and so on and so forth. And also, you know, what's the difference between an expat and an immigrant? And it's usually class and race. But um, in Bangkok, there's an expat newspaper uh, of sorts. It's called Bangkok Coconuts. Don't look at me. I didn't come up with the name. And someone once wrote a very nice article for it and um, I remember my friends and I all discussing it when it came out in which we were talking about what it means to be native and non-native and the thrust of that article was that it makes a lot more sense in the 21st century to just ask people where they're local as compared to where they're native. Because as Lana was pointing out in her own video, you know, it's entirely possible to show up in a place 
to which you have just maybe just tangential relationships or to which you have never been before and as soon as you enter that space you're immediately at home basically what i'm saying is um, i don't have any challenges or struggles as such as a non-native english speaker Meh. but what i would like you to do is just start asking people where they're local as compared to where they're native how do you get hold of english books it's never been difficult wherever I've lived, um, even in Bangkok, which was probably the least accessible in terms of English books. But even there, I mean, um, Bangkok has a very close relationship with the UK and um, there are excellent bookstores in Bangkok. And uh, my favorite one was in the giant mall. And uh, I know I'm supposed to be like, ew mall culture i'm so above it but you try living in the tropics melting in the summer and you tell me you don't like a mall with a giant air conditioning unit you're a liar but also i am an e-reader and i have been for many 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 years now so i can just go online and buy stuff so that's not a problem what is the best thing about being part of the international community Again, I didn't know that there was an international community or that I was part of it. I thought I was just part of the booktube community, but okay, if I am part of the international booktube community, because I do have a lot of people in my feed who are from different parts of the world, that's true. So um, I guess I like the different views that everybody has, like it's not a very cookie cutter feed. I don't know how much of that is truly influenced by where they're from to be honest because i feel like the people that i choose to follow and the people whose work i really like are just expressing their personality and um you know you get to see people's thought processes and you get to see who they are as people when they talk about the books that they love or they dislike and i think that's what i react to more than you know um people talking about a book through a very specific national lens which doesn't really happen that often in my experience i think critique is a very personal thing so yes it can be filtered through things that happen in different countries but um, i've never thought of it as being separate from the people themselves if that makes sense like I just see it as being filtered through their personality and everything that went into shaping their personality. I don't see them as being separate. I feel like I'm expressing myself really badly, I'm sorry. Do you watch other international booktube channels? Shout out a channel that you found recently. I mean, yes, given that I'm from India, for me, like, if you're from the United States, then you're an international booktube channel. Didn't think of that, did you? But okay, um, I will talk about somebody whom I have recently discovered and who is from a non-English speaking background and that is Luisa from Lou Reading Things and she's Brazilian and uh, a Portuguese speaker and uh, she is really funny and opinionated and informed and uh, she reminds me of one of my closest friends she has that same kind of moxie you know um, and I really enjoy watching her and I'm gonna link down to her channel below tag your fellow international booktubers okay I feel like this question is a trap because as Lana said you don't really get to know where people are from unless they constantly keep bringing it up kind of like I do like I talk about being from India and being from Delhi all the time and um, I can see how like people would be like oh yeah she's an international booktuber okay fine but most people don't do that like most people are a little less self-obsessed and so I feel like this is a really great way for me to be like oh this person they're an international booktuber and then them to like turn around and be like racist I'm American which again like goes back to like what do you mean by an international booktuber can I mention my British friends here? Can I mention my Australian friends? Do I just not mention anybody that speaks English as a first language? How do I know if they speak English as a first language? 
There are so many people out there who speak English without any discernible accent and I don't know if that's their first language or not. However, I am going to take a stab at this because there are a few people that I'd like to shout out and um, first up, I'm going to shout out Paris from Parisable Reads who I believe is actually Canadian or like lives in Canada or whatever. But, um, she is Persian and uh, is currently stuck in the Middle East. The first time I saw her was her booktube newbie tag and uh, she started the video by saying that the terrible lighting in her video was basically a sign of things to follow and to adjust our expectations accordingly and I immediately fell in love. She's hilarious and she's so smart. And I haven't seen her around in a couple of weeks, but hopefully she'll be back in business by the time this tag goes up. But if not, maybe I can lure her back to booktube with the promise of an easy video such as this one. Next up is my sweet baby Moon from Moonlight Crawls. She's Filipina and she is a ray of sunshine and I enjoy her so much. She always makes me laugh. Also shout out to Hamsa Vahini who has a tremendous output. I mean, she puts up so many videos and she talks about such a variety of things. It's incredible. Next up is Vidya who's also an author and she talks about books across a range of grades, uh, which I think is like really great if you have like kids and stuff. And um, also like she talks about adult books. So um, she's really fun. And last up, I'm going to shout out Sun from Sun and Mood Reads, who is Australian <laughs> and talks English like perfectly. Like this is what I mean. But you know, she's not American and she does have Korean heritage. So does that count? I don't know, but I like her channel and I would just like to give her a shout out. And um, I haven't really seen her do like tags as such. So maybe she can do this one. Thanks for watching. As usual, if you are an international booktuber and you would like to do this tag, then please take it away. And if any of you have better ideas than me about what these questions mean, then please let me know. And also just let me know if I'm overthinking things because I remember like the moment I saw Sunny's video, I was just like, yeah, what is up with these questions? But then I tend to just get in my head a little too much. So I'll catch you guys next time. For more videos, please hit the subscribe button.